Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the form design for this um, C hash group box uh, container control example. We will also study the behavior of the containers during the form design. Okay, now we will go to form design. So here is our form. Let me place some control here. So if you see here, I have three labels and then three text boxes and then three, two command buttons. Now all these six controls, that means three text boxes, three labels and two buttons. I mean the eight controls belongs to the form. So here form is the container and all these controls are child to that form now if i set some property to this form let me go to the property window let me go and change the font so this is the font i am setting so this font is for the form and if you see here uh, this is uh, windows.forms so i am setting this property to the container level and you can see this property gets inherited to all the controls in the form that means all the child of the container and if you see the property got changed so this is how uh, the child control will inherit the properties from its parent container now let's go ahead and so i'm changing it to regular and you can see the font got changed for all the controls say for example if i click the button so this is ms reference sans serif with 9.75 point so and you can see the same setting is inherited to this button control not only for this button control all the child will inherit the same property now we will set one more property say for example i am setting a four color for my form and i am setting four color as a red and if you see all the child control changed its uh, property now if i go to text box and type something here okay so the text control doesn't inherit that property but all other control inherited the four color So text box is still stays with uh, so we have to set it manually so even though it uh, it's a child it doesn't inherit it so most of the control will inherit the property from its uh, parent All right now let me place a group box here so group box will be available under containers
let me place two control here two label control and two text boxes now our parent top level container is the form then the form contains one two three four five six seven eight controls plus one more control that's called group box so it's ninth control so the group box here is a control as well as a container for this form this group box is a control but for these four controls so this group box is a container this means if i say it four color for example let me go to form and once again i will set four color as red here and you can see the four color is applied to all that means so let's forget about this a text box text box is not inheriting the four color let's get rid of this so what happened when i set red it set red color for all these controls as well as for the group box group box four color is red so since group box four color is red it applies that red color to its bottom most control that means it's a child controls now let me change this group box color to blue so if i hit blue then these two label will change its color to blue so now you can see how the hierarchy is applying now if i go to this specific control and if i want to change it to a specific color i can still do that now let me explain this once again form is the top level container we applied red so it has the four color red it applied red to all its child control including the group box since group box is a container it applied that red color to its uh, underlying childs next we set blue color to the group box so since we overridden the red color set by the form here by setting the blue color the group box applied that blue color to all its uh, child control next we overwritten that blue color by applying the individual setting from blue to green that's how you see label 5 is having the green color so that's all here about the container control let me check one more property say for example we enabled and disabled for now it is enabled now if i keep it as false then the controls here will become disabled so we can see that at a runtime now group box is in disabled state enabled is false now if i run it you can see all controls got disabled here that means i cannot type anything here once i enable it will enable all the control inside the group box because it's a container so this is what we are going to explore in the next example um, by adding some piece of code at runtime. So we already talked about the example in the previous video. Now you have the idea of form design, how the uh, parent container will push its property to its child controls and we also know how child control can override the control inherited from its parent container that's all here thank you for watching bye